Hi, my name is Gerhard Schwartner and welcome to Selling Power TV. Today, we have the great pleasure and honor of speaking with Thad Altman. He is the executive director at the Kennedy Space Center for the Astronaut Memorial Foundation. Welcome, Thad. Oh, it's great to be here. Thank you for having me, having me on. Tell us a little bit about your mission. The Astronaut Memorial Foundation uh, was created right after the Space Shuttle Challenger accident. It was a tragic, tragic accident. As you know, it exploded uh, not long after taking off the pad and hundreds of thousands of people saw it. And what made that even more visible and affected more people was the fact that we had Krista McCullough, the first civilian to fly in space as a school teacher. And so what we realized here on the Space Coast, we are affectionately known as the Space Coast, um, was that we had no place to honor fallen astronauts. And so there was an effort, a successful one, by our predecessor to uh, develop a, a memorial here at Kennedy Space Center, a large granite memorial. It's very striking, has the names of all the astronauts that have fallen in duty. And we also have what we call a living memorial, a, a 45,000 square foot facility called the Center for Space Education. I am really excited about you uh, being here and seeing it firsthand. Well, I look forward to that, and that is on December 8th and 9th, and uh, we have uh, 250 sales leaders attending, and uh, I'd love for you to arrange a, a rocket launch for us. Uh, chances are good. Uh, chances are, I understand that the launch sequence will be quite busy as we, uh, as we get into the end of the year, that there'll be quite a few launches that, that last 30 days, so I would bet you have about a 50 chance, 50, 50 chance of seeing a launch while you're here. And there's a little bit of a rivalry with uh, who has the, the biggest and uh, most powerful rocket. And, uh, and the one that is in U.S. center is the Saturn V. Um, is the Artemis rocket uh, more powerful? Still to this day, the Saturn V has the ability to lift more weight into space than Artemis does. So. I kind of get tip my hats off to the Saturn V. They still haven't topped that. Of course, Elon Musk is working on a rocket that's even bigger that can return back to the pad. Uh, and he's getting close to his first uh, orbital test flight too. He also has a, a slogan, populate Mars. Um, do you yeah. think uh, that we have a chance of uh, reaching Mars, uh, a human reaching Mars in the next 10 years? I've heard... Uh, 32, 33. So that would be within a 10, 10 year time frame. So we're, I think there's a very good chance for that. And you know, as far as what Elon Musk has been doing, I would not sell him short or underestimate him at all. He has continually overperformed. That is amazing. Uh, wh what about Jeff Bezos? What he's doing is, is amazing. And I think once he starts launching here, uh, you're going to see an exponential growth in what he does you know, what we're doing as a whole. That if uh, they gave you a free ticket to go into orbit for three days, would you do it? I would. Having grown up here and watching rockets my whole life, it's sort of sparked my imagination of what it would be like to see the earth from that perspective. I think it would be, it would be a wonderful experience to, to see the earth, to experience microgravity and all the amazing sights that the astronauts talk about it makes us realize how precious our earth is, how fragile and important that we take care of it. I feel like we are, we are pioneers coming uh, as a business that, that has nothing to do with space, just to be there, to be part of that, uh, that spirit of, uh, you, know, you know, our theme is skyrocketing sales in 2023. Is there something that you want to share? I think we need great salesmen to help us sell space. It all begins right there. If you can't motivate people and encourage people to go in that direction, it's all for naught. So what you do is the beginning, the genesis, and so incredibly important. So what is the number one commercial reason for being in space? Is it telecommunication? Uh, they're all important, but I think life safety and protecting human life is the number one priority, just like in almost anything. And what our weather satellites have done uh, enable us to save millions, perhaps hundreds of millions of lives through uh, monitoring uh, 
storms and given yeah. adequate warning. It's amazing how accurate we are now in predicting the weather. And that saved hundreds of millions of lives. Uh, near Earth objects. You know, we know that dinosaurs went extinct from an asteroid hitting the Gulf region. If we get hit with another asteroid, it could wipe out human life. So I think mean, near Earth objects have got to be maybe our number one priority because it is an event that can destroy all of mankind. Mankind has always been exploring new possibilities. And uh, I think the better we understand our world that we live in, the better we can um, understand ourselves and uh, mm -hmm. come to a, uh, a way of collaborating and co-creating a better world for the future. Absolutely, no doubt about it. And not to mention that inborn desire that we have as human beings to be explorers and to see what's out there. Well, thank you, Thad, so much for uh, sharing your insights and your passion for space. Uh, you really have a, a, a way of, uh, you know, communicating your excitement that makes me want to uh, come there every year. Well, thank you. I hope we can get you to come here every year. We are really, uh, really excited about uh, your conference, and uh, we're going to work real hard to make it uh, a very memorable event. Thank you.